I can't wait to get to the Big Top Circus. Hot ziggity. This is going to be great. <laughs> Hold on to that ticket, Pep. We don't want to lose it. BJ Sweeney's Big Top Circus, coming to Apple Valley. That's where we're going, Pep. Okay, we've got a long drive to the circus. We better get going. Apple Valley, here we come. Hey, it's a goat. He sure is cute. Hmm, that goat is blocking the road to Apple Valley. I wonder where I can find something that will get him to move out of the road. Say, I don't believe we've met. The name's Cassidy. Roll along, Cassidy. Glad to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, howdy, Putt-Putt. Say, would you be able to find something to move this goat off the track? He looks hungry to me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Honking my horn doesn't work. Those beautiful flowers might come in handy. I think I'll hold on to them. Goaty, goaty. Here, goat. That did the trick. Well, yeah, thanks, partner. I've been trying to get that gall darn goat to move all morning. I'm going to be late for the circus if I don't get my old caboose moving. You're going to the circus, too? Wow, so are we. Well, uh, technically speaking, I'm uh, delivering stuff to the circus. Sawdust. Tons and tons of sawdust. Oh, no. There goes my ticket to the circus. I don't have any money for a new one. Now what am I going to do? You're going to hop right on my freight car. I'm taking you straight to the Big Top Circus in Apple Valley, Putt-Putt. I'm sure we can figure out a way to get you into that circus, ticket or no ticket. Gee, thanks, Cassidy. Did you hear that, Pep? We're getting a train ride to the circus. Hot ziggity! This is great! Here we are! Wow! I can't believe I'm at the circus! Yep, BJ Sweeney's genuine big top circus. And BJ's just the one you need to talk to about your little ticket problem. BJ Sweeney, the ringmaster? Wow! Where do I find him? Right next to the gate, my friend. I'm sure he'd be happier than a hen to help you out. I sure hope so. Well, thanks again for the ride, Cassidy. I sure got a heap of sawdust unload. We use a lot of it at the circus. Do you need some help unloading it? Thanks, but no thanks. Cassidy. Best of luck to you, my friend. <laughs> oh my goodness! You must be BJ Sweeney, the most famous ringmaster in the world. You don't look too happy. Of course I'm not happy. I have a really big show to put on tonight. A spectacular spectacle meant to curl your tailpipe and put a spin in your tires. But I'm afraid the show can't go on. <laughs> Why not? Because everything's a jumbled mess.
When we pulled in here, nothing got put in the right place. Oh, my five main acts are crying mutiny, and the other acts are having problems too. Here are the five main acts. Honkle the Clown, the Flying Porkowskis, Philippe the Flea, Reginald the Lion, and Katie Cannonball. This circus is doomed. Maybe I can help you. By the way, my name's Putt-Putt. Thanks, Putt-Putt. Here, take this. Maybe it will help. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. B.J. Sweeney. I'll do my best to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. If you help me get this circus up and running, you'll have free circus tickets for life. That's great, since, uh, a goat kind of ate my ticket. Wow! I'm actually inside the big top. I should take a look around. That's a huge target. I wonder what that big target's used for. I wonder what happens up there. Maybe the trapeze artists perform there. That must be the lion and tiger ring. It's going to be pretty exciting to see them perform. I can't wait. That must be the ring where the clown performs. Whoa! Has the circus started already? No, I'm early. I'm helping Mr. Sweeney to get his axe ready for the show. Hey, I could use some help, big time. I'm Lester. Pleased to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. What's the problem? My boss, Philippe. Philippe the Flea. He has fled with his fellow flea followers to where I do not know. He's a tad upset about the condition of his small umbrella tent here. As you can see, it's a mess. Maybe I can find him for you. Well, then you're going to need this. And see if you can find him a new tent while you're at it. Thanks, Lester. Get your peanuts. Get your fresh, hot, roasted peanuts. Mmm, that sounds good. How much are you selling your peanuts for? Usually these peanuts sell for, uh, peanuts. Less than a nickel. But today, because it's open tonight, I'm giving them away. If you take on the peanut challenge and win. The peanut challenge? What's that? Yeah, take a closer look at my peanut gallery and I'll explain. Okay, here's how the game works. You got ten peanuts in your pile to toss to those hungry tin cars. If you can feed three cars, you will win your own jumbo bag of fresh, hot, roasted peanuts. On your mark, get set, throw! You did it! You won the peanut challenge! And for that astounding win, you get one jumbo bag of fresh hot roasted peanuts absolutely free from me, bought the peanut cut, home of the peanut challenge. One bag per customer. Wow, thanks a lot! Hey, what are you gonna do now that you won them? Gobble them up in seconds flat? No, I'm not hungry right now. I think I'll save them for later. That's a very wise decision. You might find someone you want to share them with. It would be fun to be a circus clown because you could make everybody laugh. The tent is closed. I wonder what's inside. Open sesame! Here we go, Pep! This new costume looks ridiculous. It's... it's undignified. You, Reggie, could never in a million years look undignified. No way, no how, Reggie. Honest. 
What do you think about this travesty of a costume? It, uh, looks like you're ready to go swimming. Swimming? No, of course. It's a bathing suit. Why, it's a mistake. This is coming off immediately. Good riddance. Yeah, do you have any need for this? Sure, it might come in handy. And maybe I can find your costume for you. Oh, thank goodness. Mine is a regal costume, fit for a king. Pardon me, but I don't believe you've had the pleasure. I'm Reginald Cornelius Andronicles the Third, And these are my assistants, Terry and Marie. Charmed. A pleasure. I'm Putt-Putt. Thank you for doing this, Putt-Putt. I need that costume for tonight. Yeah, without it, the show won't go on. That's a camel. They can go a long time without water. <laughs> That's a show horse. Horses like carrots. That's a rhinoceros. They're found in Africa. That's a cockatoo. It's a beautiful bird. Those are monkeys. Monkeys are silly. Those are giraffes. They have long necks so they can eat leaves out of trees. I flew from the tropics to study the big topic. I worked with the fruit cart. Now I've learned acrobatic art. Across the desert, dry and sunny. Could I please have some cotton candy? We used to roam the Serengeti. I very feel like some spaghetti. Come on, you two, let's sing now and eat later. Okay, everybody. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. We see country dogs and city lights. A different audience every night. We might be tall or slightly tiny. We keep our costumes bright and shiny. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. We get to jump in front. And our night play to sleep. And plenty to eat. But when the show is done. In the circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. This must be where they do all the construction for the circus. I am Buzzsaw. I can cut anything with my sharp blade. Pick a shape to cut. Hmm, that machine doesn't seem to have a saw in it. I'll bet it's missing. I guess I could try to find it somewhere. My name is Putt-Putt. I'm Sebastian the Juggling Seal. Wait, I think I've got it this time. Not again. Wow, that looks difficult. Believe it or not, right now it's harder than it looks keeping this ball in the air. Usually, I have four juggling clubs. But I do what I can, it's all I can do. Hey, if I make a fool out of myself tonight, they'll just have me perform with the clowns. Could be worse. If you want me to, I could keep on the lookout for your other juggling club. Oh, I like the way you think. That would be splendiferous. You'd be doing old Sebastian the Juggling Seal a whale of a favor. Wait, I think I've got it this time. So, don't be shy. Tell me, did you find that juggling club? Sorry, Sebastian, I haven't found it yet, but I'll keep on looking. That's okay. I'm getting used to this new idea of becoming a juggling circus clown.
Oh, hello. You come to watch Bill O'Brodnik dance? He's wild and crazy. It sure is. Oh, you take break, guys, okay? Who are you talking to? Oh, bunch of fleas. Into my fur they moved and now they are disco dancing just like Bill O'Brodnik. Wow! Mr. Sweeney said that Philippe the Flea from his flea act needed some help. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe Philippe is in your fur. I could find him and talk to him. Good. That help I could use too. Now these fleas are very nice and polite bunch, but between you and me they are a little itchy. And they make me dance this crazy disco. I need to practice my act for Big Top tonight. Well, you know what? I have the perfect thing I can use to see them and find Philippe if he's in there. Oh, very good. Okay, Bill Brodnik, let me see if I can find Philippe. Best of luck to you. Whoa! Look at all those fleas! I wonder where Philippe is. I need to find him. That's a picture of Philippe the Flea. He must be in here somewhere. Philippe the Flea, is that really you? You are looking at him! I am the one and only. I suppose you have come to ask me to return to my ring in the big top? But sadly, I cannot. You see my tent? It is falling apart. Such a star like myself simply cannot work in such an inferior place. Oh, I promised Lester I would find a new tent for you, so everything's gonna be okay. So you and your flea troop can come with me, and after I find your new tent, I'll take you back to the big top. This is such a kind offer, Putt Putt. I would gladly accept, but we can only travel in style. We would need something warm, something furry. 
something. Oh, magnifique! I have spotted the perfect creature! Come on, everybody! It's okay, Pep. It's just for a little while. And they're very nice fleas. Oh, goodness me. Milo Brodnik says thank you very much. Now I can dance to my own beat and practice my dancing for Big Top Show tonight. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with... Honka the Clown, Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, the Flying Porkowski's Trapeze Act, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. Pot Pot? Baby Jumbo? How come you're not in the Cartown Zoo? I'm traveling with the circus this summer, and guess what? I'm not a scaredy elephant anymore. That's great! I learned how to paint pictures all by myself. What do you think, Pot Pot? They're really good pictures, Baby Jumbo. My mama says I have talent. I can even paint you if you want. Oh, that would be fun! All you gotta do is pick your color. Raspberry red coming up. Wowie zowie, this is fun. It sure is. You're all done. Gee, thanks. You like me, little brother, to dancing? Well, I know he's not disco, but still it is good. Yeah, it's great, Bella Brodnik. Thank you. It's so nice of you to say so. There. I can't use that thick. I can't use that there. Are you a real police car? Hello, Putt Putt. The name's Hank. I was a police car. Now I'm working as a security guard guarding the circus. Wow! That must be exciting. It has its good days. Sorry, you can't go back there. Or over there, for that matter. Why not? You need security clearance. Can't let just anybody backstage, you know. How do I get security clearance? Take this backstage security pass and get it authorized and signed off in triplicate by the proper authorities. Who are the proper authorities? I'm not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. All I do know is that it has to be proper. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Excuse me, Mr. Sweeney. Hank the security car said I needed an authorized signature in triplicate before he'd let me go backstage. Can you do that? Of course I can. Good to see he's doing his job. Ah, that's my life. Paperwork. Here you go. Your backstage security clearance. Thanks. Here you go, in triplicate. 
Look at that. BJ Sweeney's signature. Can't get any more proper than that. Go right in any time you want to. Gee, thanks. Say there, catnip. Here's a joke coming at you. Okay, hit me, Ratto. <laughs> no, I meant with a joke. Sheesh, you're always clowning around. Hey, it's my job. Here's one. So why did the elephants run away from the circus? Why, Ratso? Because they were tired of working for peanuts. Oh yeah, I get it. Maybe they'd rather work for pie. <laughs> An umbrella. This doesn't belong here. I should find who it belongs to and return it to them. Get this Honko the Clown. Wow! That must be Honko the Clown! Hi, Honko! I wonder what he's trying to say. Wow! The clowns must use this for putting their costumes together! That's funny. Noses! Eyes Ears Hats Ties That's silly Wow, that trailer must belong to Pectoral the Strong Van. Maybe he got so strong because he eats all those fruits and vegetables. Look, a juicer. If I put some vegetables in it, I can make a vegetable shake. Carrots. Apples. Pears. All full. <laughs> hey, a trampoline. I think I'll hold on to this. It might be useful. Good evening, I am Marvin the Marvelous. Prepare to be amazed, astounded, and spellbound by magical feats unlike any you've ever seen. Why bother? Everything is a mess. What's the problem? It's my magic cards. They're supposed to be in pairs, and I don't know which one goes with which. Until they're just right, I won't be able to do my famous card trick. Oh, I bet I can help you with that. That, my friend, would be simply marvelous. Thank you for this. You, I have a feeling, are about to save me. My, my magic show, my entire career. I'll do my best. <laughs> I wonder which cards match up. A rabbit. A magician's hat. Nope, those don't match. Juggling ball. Juggling ball. They match. 
A star. A juggling club. A juggling club. A rabbit. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. A star. A rabbit. A rabbit. A rabbit. A star. A juggling club. A star. A star. That's funny. There's no match for this one. I'd better tell Marvin about that. I'm all done. But this card was left over, Marvin. It didn't have a match. Ah, the juggling club. The match for that card got lost when we were playing Peoria. That, my friend, is all yours if you'd like it. Gee, thanks. Ah, uh ah, -uh. not so fast. You deserve much more than a mere card. After all, you saved my show. Mambo, Jumbo, Hocus Pocus, Dominocus. A chicken? No, that's not right. Let's see. Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, Diddlyocus. <laughs> There we go. I thought I lost my touch. A genuine juggling club. All for you. Wowie zowie! Thanks! <gasps> hey! That looks just like Mama Mobasa from the Cartown Zoo. I wonder if it is. Mama Mobasa, is that you? She sure is sleeping soundly. I wonder why she is at the circus. If I could wake her up, I could ask. I think I have something I can use to wake up Mama Mobasa. I don't think that will work. The outlook for the weather today in Apple Valley is warm and crystal clear. That's good news for opening night of the Big Top Circus. Look what I have! Fresh, hot, roasted peanuts! Peanuts? Am I still dreaming? This is wonderful! Why, I can't believe my old elephant eyes! Is that really you, Putt-Putt? It sure is, Mama Mobasa! Honey, it is so good to see you! Baby Jumbo and I are working with the circus this summer, and my sweet boy is having the time of his life. I already saw him, Mama Mobasa. Oh, you did? Did you see his wonderful paintings? I sure did. They were great. That's my boy. Such an imagination. I borrowed that net from someone, but I don't remember who. I can return that for you, Mama Mobasa. BJ Sweeney asked me to help out with the circus. Whoa! This must be where Mr. Sweeney keeps all the tools to fix things for his big top circus. I bet Mr. Sweeney wouldn't mind if I borrowed this saw. It might be good for fixing things around the circus, as long as I'm very careful with it. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Hey, it looks like half of a recipe. I'd better hang on to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't tell me Mr. B.J. Sweeney sent you to talk us into performing without a safety net. Tell him the flying Porkowskis won't do it. We refuse to fly through the air on the trapeze with the greatest of ease if we don't have a safety net. Won't do it. No way. And that's final. I wouldn't either. That would be dangerous. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and actually, Mr. Sweeney wanted me to help you. So, where is your safety net, anyway? That's the problem. Can't find it anywhere. It's been missing since we got here. Wait a minute. I might just have what you're looking for. I'll believe it when pigs can fly. We can fly, Paul. Well, sort of hammy. Whoopee! It's our safety net! Thanks a bunch! A bunch and a heat, Putt Putt. You're welcome. Now you can be safe. The flying Porkowskis can fly again. Come on, Paul. I want to practice my flying upside down trick. Okay, Hammy, we're coming. I do hope you'll come see us in the show, Putt Putt. Oh, I will. I want to see Hammy do that upside down trick. It is a sight. Well, better start practicing. Oh, boy. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. I think this platform goes all the way up to the high wire. I wonder what's up there. Here I go. I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? The name's Eunice, and do I ever! I am having the toughest time trying to balance on this practice wire. Never happened before! I am baffled! I can tell you that! I might have something you can use to help you balance, Eunice. Well, this is my lucky day, isn't it? Can't wait to see what it is! Here, do you think this big umbrella will help? You never know. Can you hand it over? Sorry, I can't reach that far. Guess you're gonna have to come around the other way. Okay, I can do that. I think... That won't do me any good there. Wow, Eunice, that wire looks pretty loose. You're telling me! I've been trying to tighten it all morning. But as they say, it takes two to tighten. I think the bolt's a little rusty. Maybe I can figure out how to get over there, and then I can help you tighten it. You're on! I hope you don't think it's too bold of me to ask, but do you know a little something about music? Maybe a little bit. Why? See, I'm the circus orchestra, the circus conductor, and the circus accompaniment all rolled into one. And I've got a couple of teensy little problems. My pipes are all mixed up, and it seems like I have some old translation book stuck in them. I figure if someone can set my pipes right, I can get up enough steam to get that book out. I can help you with that. Oh, that is music to my ears. Now the key here is to arrange my pipes from the lowest note to the highest note. Okay, I'll try it. By the way, since you're being so helpful and all, I should introduce myself. I'm Bet Bandwagon. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, glad to meet you. Okay, remember, arrange my pipes so they go from the lowest sounding note to the highest sounding note.
The green light means that the pipe is in the correct spot. The red light means that the pipe is in the wrong spot. I think that most of the pipes are already in the right spot. Try this, Bet. Okay, here goes. That was music to my ears. My goodness, it's the Honkish Translation Book. Well, however did that get caught in my pipes? A Honkish Translation Book? I could use that to talk to Honko the Clown. Oh, you most certainly could. Here, you take it, Putt-Putt, and thanks. You are my musical maestro. Thanks, Bet. This is great. So are you, Putt Putt. So are you. Oh, I hope you come to help. I have. I'm Putt Putt. Mr. Sweeney asked me to help out. Oh, Putt Putt. Hello, I'm Katie Cannonball. And I'm just having the hardest old time remembering how to set my little cannon here. I fly out of it in the show, but if it's not set right, oh, there's no telling where I'd wind up. Maybe even the moon. So how do you usually set it up? Usually, I have my cannon plan. You know, a little blueprint. It shows how to set my cannon, but they seem to be missing. Do you think you could help me find them? Sure, no problem. Oh, good. Meanwhile, I'll just fiddle around with this thing. Phew! This suit is getting tight! Hey, that's Francine, the famous hippo high diver. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. What are you doing way up there? Practicing my dive. Or at least my form. The pool is dry as the desert, so I can't jump. Why don't you put some water in it? I suspect it wouldn't do a lick of good. There's a hole the size of Apple Valley in there. It's a hole in the shape of a circle. Maybe I can fix it for you. If you do that, Putt-Putt, you'll be my hero. I'm raring to go here. I wonder how I can get to the other side. Wait a minute. Maybe I have something that will help. I think this trampoline will do the trick. Here goes nothing. Excuse me. Yes? Do you work here? I do. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm Ivan, the semi-strong van. Although right now, I'm not very strong at all. Why not? What's the matter? I can't find Pectoral's secret power shake recipe. Pectoral the strong van? Pectoral, the original strong van. When he retired, he gave me his secret recipe. And now, it's missing. Without Pectoral's power shake, I'm just a 98 pound weakling. I've been helping Mr. Sweeney take care of a few problems around the circus, and I think I already found half of the recipe. Oh, it must have gotten torn during the move. Will you look for the other half? You bet I will. I'll even see if I can make you the power shake while I'm at it. Ooh, that's an offer I can't refuse. See, Ivan? I think this is half of the power shake recipe. That's it, all right. 
I wish I could remember the rest of the ingredients, but ooh, I just can't. That's okay. I'm sure the other half must be around somewhere. Umbrella Eunice? Well, let's see if that works. Here, you hold this little fella. <gasps> That's what the problem was? Now that I think about it, that other umbrella looks awfully tiny. This is the umbrella I use in my act. I see that now. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you want me to do with this other umbrella? Keep it. I have no need for it. I can tell you that. Thanks. Well, as I always say, if at first you don't succeed, try a new umbrella. Okay, ready when you are. Ooh, I think we got it. Great! Now if you want, you can drive across the high wire. That's what the second wire's for. It's for you four-wheelers. Me, I only need one. Gee, thanks. Eunice, do you mind if I drive across the wire? Just come on through when you're ready. I sure am high up. Wowie zowie. that there. Here, Lester. Will this work for the flea tent? Will it ever? Put it in place and we are in business. Whoa, now that is a work of art. Philippe is gonna love it. I love it! It's even better than my first paper umbrella tent. It's magnifique! You, Putt Putt, are a star of a car. Ha <laughs> ha! I can perform now! If you'll excuse me, I need to get ready. Sure. See you later. Philippe is coming! I am ready for my makeup! This is great! I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. the other half of the recipe I found. Wow! <laughs> Pectoral the Strong Band's secret recipe. Oh, it's for Ivan the Semi-Strong Band's power shake. Sebastian, one juggling club. 
Splendiferous. It looks just like old Sebastian the Juggling Seal's Juggling Club. Woohoo! That is great! Here, have a ball. Gee, thanks. No, gee, thanks to you. Woohoo! You did me a great favor. I'm a fantastic juggling genius once again. Arr. I can't use that there. Great! Buzz should be able to cut the pool patch for Francine now. Circle. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the hole on the pool is a circle. Oh boy! book will be perfect for talking to Honko the Clown. Huh. I wonder what he's trying to say. Let me see. Your suspenders ate scrambled eggs. I didn't think that sounded right. You missed taking a bath in bear hair. I didn't think that sounded right either. Wait a minute. I bet this is it. You're missing your nose. Well, if that's it, then I just might have something that will work. Here you go, Honko. It's a little red ball. Will this do the trick? Welcome, Honko. I was happy to help. See you in the big top. Wowie zowie. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the big top circus will be ready for opening night. place to make Ivan's Power Shake recipe. This is the place to make the Power Shake, all right. Hmm. Now, what is it supposed to have in it again? Pectoral de Strom Van's secret recipe. Celery, beets, and asparagus. Celery. Beets. I guess. All full. Wow, 
Wow, this is a powerful drink. I think I'll save the rest for later. Excuse me, I'm coming through. Ooh. Riding the high wire is great. I whipped up Pectoro's secret power shake. Would you like it? You whipped up a power shake for me? Ivan the semi-strong van? Oh, I've been needing one of those all day. Thanks. Come to Papa. Now I feel strong. Wowie zowie. That power shake is really powerful. Okay. Watch this. That is great. Lifting a ton is easy with Pectoro's secret power shake recipe. Especially for a semi-strong van like me. Now I could do this all day, all night. Great, I got him! The plans for Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. She'll sure be happy to see these. This other suit is so tight. Excellent! You are a lifesaver. Here, I won't be needing this. Thanks! Reginald the Lion will sure be happy to get this back. Katie Cannonball. 
I hardly know how to thank you, Putt-Putt. Uh, uh, just say thank you. Oh, thank you. Can you help me set the cannon up? Normally, I have Ivan help me out, but he's busy getting ready for tonight. I'd be happy to help you with that. Really? Oh, I am tickled. Thank you. The controls are right over there. It looks like the controls have a lock on them, probably for safety reasons. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. Blue. Here goes nothing. I mean, a sack of potatoes. Okay, Putt-Putt, let's see how it goes. Ta-da! Perfection, Putt-Putt. Bravo! We did it! No, you did it, Putt-Putt. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, I'd better head for the big top. I don't want to be late. I need to have plenty of time to practice my cannon act. I've got a show to put on. I'll be looking for you, Putt-Putt. See you, Katie Cannonball. Gee, I just got a kiss from a real circus star. Hey! I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. Reginald? Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Reginald Cornelius Andronicles III can go on the stage again. There's no time to waste. We have a rehearsal to attend. Thank you, Putt-Putt. Yeah, you're a real pal. See you at the show. You got it. Wow! Now all the main acts are ready. Hot ziggity. <laughs> Mr. B.J. Sweeney's Big Top Circus is all set to open. Welcome, one and all, to the opening night of the Big Top Circus. We have a really big show tonight, and we couldn't have done it without the help of a very special guest, Putt-Putt. Gee, thanks. As a special thank you for all he's done for this circus, we're going to let Putt-Putt perform under the big top. Pick your pleasure, Putt-Putt. When you're done, just come up and push this button to start the rest of the show. Wow, which one should I do? 